All right. Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutations to Yaakim out here pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. We're almost out of here. This is a. Um, uh, we're here again uh, to bring you another uh, lesson and pretty much what we're going to be talking about is you two-thirds Because there's never enough to say about you two-thirds and your wickedness and uh, Apostle Tahar just posted a video which made it sound like a lot of you uh, so-called brothers in the camp are about to become two-thirds Because you're being slack and lazy and not taking this thing seriously and uh, Real quick it was raining out here earlier today like maybe about a half an hour ago It was pouring down bad and me and this brother decided to just see what would happen and came out here and now the rain stopped and now it's sunny so there's no excuses if you're a man of the Lord you should be doing this word um, uh, rain sleet hail or snow I mean obviously unless it's a blizzard or a hurricane but you've got no excuses and you've even got less of an excuse when you can do a video in the safety of your own home or your car but I, I digress we're pretty much gonna be getting into these two-thirds because I've been I got to admit I've been pretty vexed these past couple of days, especially with uh, July 4th being the other day. I was working two jobs where I saw you two-thirds just hearkening unto the ways of these heathens, chiefly Esau the so-called white man, when the fireworks started going off and they started singing uh, Amazing Grace and all that. I saw you old heads out there and you young jakes too going back and <laughs> forth. Like you really made it, like you've oh, arrived in this society. <laughs> and the same thing with you, you, you nigger women as well. Like, even your children, I was out at these events, these were public events, and you had little girls, they might as well have been wearing underwear how short their jean shorts were, just having a bad attitude, and not even being able to speak properly. I heard some of their conversations, and this is literally what I heard. What? And the other one was like, oh, that's honestly what I heard. So, I mean, you two-thirds are done. If this society was allowed to go on for another generation with these little little bastards coming up, it would be completely done. It'd be worse than Mad Max. But now we're going to get into these scriptures, unless you had something to say. Oh, no, you covered it. Um, <laughs> it's Isaiah 5 and 18. Woe unto them that draw iniquity. And woe means destruction. With cords of vanity. And in sin, as it were, with a cart rope. So destruction unto you out there that uh, that uh, draw iniquity, pretty much out here not following these laws, statutes, and commandments, being a brute beast, doing anything you can to go against these scriptures by being a, a faggot or a lesbian or a, an honorary Edomite, trying to shave in your beard, getting a job, teaching your kids the same thing, be a proud American, just complete iniquity and vanity, destruction to you. And we just, yeah, I hope you heard that, that thundering out there. That's the most high speaking. Yeah, you can tell he pissed too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, this is 19. That say, let him make speed and hasten his work, that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw nigh and come, that we may know it. And just because these uh, major prophecies and these destructions seem to be tearing right now, as it just said, y'all are saying, uh, let him let the most high make speed and hasten his work Let us see a sign because we're a, gen a wicked generation and we don't believe anything That's just gonna be much more of a condemnation on you because we're a sign out here Sign and crying unto you telling you that these prophecies are beginning to come to pass and that you need to come back to these law statutes and commandments Or else or else you're gonna face a terrible painful death which at this point if you be, I haven't been in this thing for too long, but I've been in it for enough to imagine these brothers that have been in, in it for two, five to ten years, how they see you two-thirds. They don't, they don't have any remorse for you. They want you to die. Yeah, and then uh, if Esau tell you something, you niggas will take that to the bank, you know. But when the most I put in these scriptures, what are you going to do? How are you going to lay it out for you? Oh, you niggas don't believe it. You want to accept it. But the man Esau said, you know what? I'm going to come throw up, like all you nigga asses up here in about ten minutes. You niggas will start running because you know Esau will come do it. See, that's your thing. You, you fear man. You don't fear the most high. You're carnal. You're carnal by things you can see at the moment because you're you're you have a microwave mindset. You're not spiritual. You're not waiting diligently for these things because you'll know they'll come. So that's why you're asking for a sign up in your face at the moment. Okay. Twenty. Woe unto them that Woe come. Woe again, destruction again. 
Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. And look at everything Jake does. There's not a righteous two-thirds out there, even though two-thirds can't be righteous. But all y'all do is condone everything that's wicked in society. Gangster culture, drugs, uh, women being whores, kids being able to do whatever they want. Just complete madness, that, that get it how you live lifestyle, where you cut down your own brother just so you can make it a little bit more in the society. And you're not even making it anywhere, you're making it pretty much just up the block. That put darkness for light, and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet, and sweet for bitter. Bitter, so like you. Mm-hmm. 21. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes, and prudent in their own sight. Uh, I don't need anybody to tell me nothing. I can do bad all by myself. You hard-headed and stiff-necked people. You, as it just said, you're wise in your own eyes. You think you got everything figured out because you lived a, a so-called hard life. You came up in the hood and you, you, you have that street knowledge. But that, if you're a brother in this truth that does have some benefit to you because you know how to deal with these jakes and work with the situation you're in. But if you're just a two-thirds out here going by your street knowledge, that doesn't benefit you in any way whatsoever. It's just leading you into death. And then a lot of this knowledge these niggas claim to have is the shit they learn from the so-called white man. They ain't done their own research or nothing like that. Or they watched the zeitgeist a couple times and them niggas think they know something. Read the Book of the Dead, fucking fallen, what's that nigga? Neil deGrasse Tyson or what's his mm -hmm. name? Y'all follow that nigga and y'all think y'all know something. All them niggas a bunch of fools. All of them. And a lot of those Egyptology books y'all read are, are, wit are written by the white man. Exactly. 22. Woe unto them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink. Mm -hmm. 23. Which justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him. Which justify the wicked for reward. Uh, Jay-Z's the man, I want to be just like him. Oh, I feel bad that extentation died. That was a true, that was a true brother. He was really doing a lot for the community. Let's put our cups up for extentation. But when you've got men out here on these highways and byways actually trying to save you, you're like, I want to put these, these uh, bastards to death. They're making us look bad in the eyes of the so-called white man in these other nations. We're, we're not like that. We're not like that. We love y'all. Yeah, you niggas want to stick around here for another 4th of July. You know, still fucking barbecuing raccoons and fucking ribs and shit, you know? We done with this shit. We ready to get out of here. We mm -hmm. don't want to see another fourth or another motherfucking, <laughs> another next week. Y'all are, oh, are about to see some fireworks soon. <laughs> and not just in the sky, on the ground, charring y'all up. All right, 24. Therefore, as the fire devoureth the stubble and the flame consumeth the chafe, so their roots shall be as rottenness and their blossoms shall go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the Lord of hosts and despised the word of the Holy One of Yasharala. So right on time, therefore as the fire it devour the mm -hmm. stubble and flame consumeth the chaff, so shall their root be as rottenness. And because y'all aren't following the ways of the Most High, that's why y'all are in this situation you're in, in the worst possible situation with all these other nations looking down on you, getting away with killing you in the street, your woman, if you're a man, your woman just ruling over you and treating you like a little boy, your children doing the same, that's what you get and that's what you deserve for not coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments, especially since we're out here preaching to you, try to wake you up. And y'all deserve to be burned by that fire and be turned into stubble along with your, your white daddy, uh, Esau. And yeah, like I said, they despise the word of the Holy One of Israel, or Yasser Allah, but that's all it boils down to. You niggas, you really don't hate us. You hate the most high when it boils down to. You niggas don't want to be corrected on nothing. You just want to do what the fuck you want to do. You're wise in your own eyes. And Jake's need to realize you can't do what the fuck you want to do anywhere. So what makes you think the most I just going to have you down here fucking eating all kind of bullshit, you know, living the way you want to live, popping men and women? And no, you got to answer for all that shit. They're hearkening unto the ways of their oppressors because that's Esau's philosophy that there's no there's no greater power that this is it. So just get it how you live and do, and do what you want. But we can see how how wicked this whole society is. The family's broken apart. You've got a bunch of sodomites walking around, a bunch of greedy people willing to kill the person next to them for just a grain of rice. And how much worse is that going to be during Jacob's trouble? You, when you read these scriptures and see how things are supposed to be run, and even when you look at these other. Uh, cultures out here that still have somewhat of a family unit. You see how everything's working in tandem together. There's barely any teen pregnancies. There's barely any drug addiction. Everything's working as a unit. 
but you jakes don't want to hearken unto that. You want to live as brute beasts born by menstruous uh, women. And yeah, you your father the devil, and sure enough, these fucking sick ass jakes, Jason got so sick, he fucking popping children now. I'm seeing more and more jakes popping kids now. This brother posted something uh, how they have like a drag queen show for little kids. Yeah, they, Jake into that shit now. You know, he already, what, past 10 years been heavy in faggot, faggotry. Mm -hmm. So that's all, Jake. You just, you ain't no good, Jake. You need to be destroyed, man. You just fucking useless now. You just something, like his brother said, you some. Now you a fucking gay brute beast now, you know? <laughs> Can't even call you a straight one no more. They got gay gangs out here. <laughs> All right, dude. Uh, you're supposed to be hard in the paint, but you're walking around uh, knee deep and wearing pink. Later. <laughs> All right, 25. Therefore, it's the anger of the Lord kindled against his people, and he have stretched forth his hands against them and have smitten them. And we're seeing that right now. Just go to Deuteronomy 28. You jakes are done. Like, there's no way you're coming back from this because we got a lot of people always coming up and be like, oh, man, brother, we got to build banks. We got to build schools. Well, if you read history a little bit, you see we tried that on a Black Wall Street and you see how that turned out. Esau's never going to let you, never going to let you build a kingdom within his kingdom, especially now since the elites know that they're at the end of their ropes and they're about to come down in great wrath. They're planning on how to put you two thirds to death in the worst ways possible. And honestly, again, you deserve it. You deserve it because you're not coming back to uh, the true power. Like you're saying you can't be rehabilitated, like they like to say. You know, it, it's nothing. You you can't put nothing and nothing and get something. You know, <laughs> you niggas just worthless, man. You can't rehabilitate a cancer cell. You got to hit it with radiation it. to get rid of it. Which y'all are gonna get hit with radiation soon enough. And the hills did tremble, and the carcasses were torn in the midst of the streets, for all of his anger. It's not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. And we can see his hand stretched out still. The only people that that hand's getting pulled back from are the 144,000 and the righteous one-third who have heard this word and are doing their best to come back to it in uh, all truth and sincerity. All right. Are you looking for something? Like I was going to pull that uh, Isaiah 30. Oh, no. We, we pretty much hit the point. All right, then. But, yeah. We pretty much hit the point with this video. And uh, you see how... how it, now we're gonna get uh, real quick back into you uh, Jakes out there that aren't wanting to do the videos and that's why uh, Apostle Tahar had to get into the spirit on you in that one video we just had. We just read uh, about uh, eight verses from one chapter and we got a, a nice little video out of, out of it edifying but y'all, y'all just, y'all y'all can't do the video. Y'all are, uh, y'all are, uh, let me go back to it. Y'all are wise in your own eyes. Y'all, y'all, for whatever reason, y'all think y'all don't have to do the videos and that y'all can just skate by. Oh yeah, I was just saying, you know, for the Jakes in the camps, I mean, you see all the prophecy unfolding. Everything is here just about. And why are you still slacking, you know? You need to just fucking pray to get that, matter of fact, brothers, we're gonna help fucking pray to get that demon off your ass, cause all it is is a fucking lazy ass demon on you, you know? You're still coming out to camp, so it must be a little bit of truth left in you, so. Yeah, we're not just talking shit just yeah. to talk shit. We actually want to see you brothers that are in our camp or in any other camps. We want to see y'all do better, but. Yeah, like you're saying, you know, we want brothers to get it, but we can't fucking just keep dragging our feet and say, you know what, brother, you got it yet, you got it yet. You know, either you're going to get it or you ain't going to get it. But if you need prayer, you need to come to a brother. See, so got some kind of counseling with, especially with the leaders of the camp main thing get with them and see what the fuck going on with you because uh these fucking chariots come in like any day now you know so we brothers need to be on their shit we got to be a well-oiled unit like the brother just said if you're having any problems with doing video just come to a brother and they'll be more than happy to help you out and do a video or whatever you need to do to get on get back on point but you need to you need to get the fire under your ass to go do it and take some initiative and pray and fast so uh with that we hope uh, anybody out there who's sincere watching this video was edified. A bob a ball, because this musty bitch is almost out. Kwam Yasharala. Until next time, Shalom. Shalom.